Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the Family Affair, Day of Chanel's 40s World, where we give you all the reviews on all reality shows and pretty much anything we want to give a review on. But I know y'all thought I was gone, but I miss my side hustle money, okay? So I'm back at it again, but I'm pleasantly surprised. The women are playing their parts, okay? I'm just going to say, when I do my reviews now, these people just signed up to act a fool. They don't act like this in real life. And we just giving the characters that they are showing us to make their money. Okay? Wink, wink. All right. But we're going to be reviewing season 13 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, episode, I guess it was four. Okay? I don't know why I put 14, but it's episode 4. But the highlights of the show was when Riley and Candy and Don Juan was at some restaurant or somewhere. They were together. And she told her mama she wasn't academically smart. What? I thought I would fall out to the floor. I was like, girl, Riley going off to college and she think of you as some dumb woman. Okay? I was like, oh my goodness. Is that not Mama George's granddaughter? Is that not Mama George's child? <laughs> That's the Lord have mercy. This is too much, but this is the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 13, y'all. But that was my piece de resistance, okay? Uh, telling her mama she's street smart, but she ain't academically smart. I said, uh-uh. Now we got Drew Sador and her husband, Ralph. I think that's his name. I think that's his name. He look like a Ralph, but anyway. Candy looks so pretty in her little puff puffs. And I really enjoyed her this episode. She kind of set Kenya straight like my man fell off no potato truck. I know exactly where you're going with this situation. They were talking about at a little restaurant, but we'll get into that later on. But, I, you know, I don't like that man named Ralph that Drew Sador calls himself, herself married to. Because I just don't know where he's coming from. He just seems totally arrogant and self-centered. And in her show, or in the show, she basically was saying they done been to several counselors. And he just still seems to can't get his act together. Okay? And I'm like, child, then you said you went to counseling? by yourself to try to understand the situation that you in and i'm like you ain't in a marriage by yourself you ain't had them kids by yourself then he needs to be in that situation as far as counseling with you not without you but in your gut and your heart of hearts i think you know what you should do you're just prolonging it or maybe it's just an entry way for you to be on the show and we get some new stuff to develop than the old stuff we once had with other ladies okay so, I'm watching, I'm sitting, and I'm learning your character you're playing, Drew. All right, here we go. We got Mal and Cynthia in Kenya. They meet at some yoga studio, and they start talking about Cynthia upcoming wedding. And as you all know, she did get married on 10, 10, 20. Um, Bravo didn't pay for it, <laughs> and it show wasn't a part of the show. So, I'm just not sure where it was trying to go. Family affair, it's a family affair. Yes, I'm giving it back to you. And in the background, you have family affair playing. Okay, I forgot who the joke that uh, or, um, we call it, arranged it and put it into production. But just look up the family affair. I forgot what it what what's the thing called. But yes, we over here in the family of Fairhouse talking once again. I hope y'all miss me because I missed y'all and my little change I was getting from doing reviews. Okay, I'm just telling you the real tea of it all. All right. But anyway, going back to that yoga studio thing. Uh, well, that's a picture of Drew Sador. And that's a picture of Marlo and Portia getting together as we go further on into the uh, episode. But that's neither here nor there. Marlo playing her part. She getting her coin on the side, and that's good. I, I like to see Marlo. She make good for reality TV shows. But that man right there, that Ralph, he got some serious mama hang-up issues. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. But I'm going to keep watching the story as it develops. But again, we got, like I said, Kenya. And um, the girls were out there. Well, Marlo, her sister, 
and um, Kenya and um, Cynthia was at the yoga spa trying to, you know, tell about the upcoming nuptials, and Cynthia didn't understand what the women, meaning Kenya and Ma, 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 Ma was trying to tell her, girl, do you want to marry this man or not? And Cynthia said, I'm not saying that. And then she broke down finally and said she just wanted a big wig. Now, we in COVID, COVID-19, killing folks out there, okay? Putting them in the hospital, draining them financially as well as physically. And she talking about having a big old wig. I'm like, child, where is Noelle? Come get her mama, okay? Because we all see that Cynthia hasn't changed. And maybe Mike will be good for her. Because, I mean, he was kind of frustrated, too. He said, you want to marry me or you want to marry the idea of you having a big wig, and you know we got COVID out here. It was making much sense to me, okay? Because y'all know I have never really been a fan of Mike. But on this episode, I could not disagree with the brother, okay? He was making sense, okay? We move on from that situation. We got Ken, she's insinuating. Uh, you know, she's at the yoga place there. She hasn't been touched by a man, so her body is kind of aching. In other ways, I mean, if you if you hear some cracking, that's my bones, you know, not being thrown here and there and thrust upon and all this kind of stuff, you know, just being nice and nasty. But we 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 hear you, can you? We hear you. If you drop that mark and go on and get a divorce, you may can call yourself marrying somebody else, okay? That really appreciates you and can appreciate your loveliness, okay? But I'm just saying, can you? We moving on. <coughs> then we go to uh candy. And Kenya meets up at some restaurant, okay? Uh, I bet Riley get her slot on from her dad. Uh, what's his dad's name? Who? Yeah, Block. Yeah, Block. I bet uh, Riley get her spot from uh, Block as well as Mama Joyce. Because Candy, <laughs> you ain't got nothing on Riley, honey. You ain't got nothing on Riley. Riley got your beautiful looks, but girl, she gonna be probably telling you what to do later on. And you might have to sit and take her doses uh, that she's gonna give you in the medication department on your whole life and how she sees it and how she saw it growing up, okay? Because I'm pretty sure she tell you a lot already about Mr. Todd. All right, but then again, that's the Real Housewives of the Ladder for you. All right, but like I said, going back, we have Ken Kenya and Candy talking at a restaurant and um, Kenya, you know, wants to make amends from the previous episode where she had kind of missed or mishandled the information that was given to her about uh, Portia, not Portia, but uh, Cynthia's upcoming marriage proposal from, um, um, what's that man name? No, man, she's for Mike. Okay, Mr. Mike. Okay, I forgot because I hadn't been looking at it and Hey, the truth, I'm only getting bits and pieces. And I, you won't be getting a lot of uh back-to-back, -back, what do you call it, episodes when they come on every Sunday. You know, we're just going to see how I feel about the review. And then if it's not giving me anything, then I probably won't cover it. Okay, but I usually be on the point and covering every episode. But we just have to see. I have to see now. I got it on my phone now, so I can just... Uh, do my recaps and reviews when I feel like it and not having to have to sit through a whole episode wasting my Sundays, okay? But anyway, um, can you go into gossiping mode and Candy go into gossiping mode, but not as bad as she can get. Candy was kind of surprising me. I'm like, oh, it must be hope for Candy yet, okay? Because she was setting her friend all up meaning Kenya, telling her, no, don't, don't, don't do that, don't do that now, because Kenya was trying to use Candy as an assistant to do or host this uh pre-engagement wedding party for Cynthia, and she said, oh, you just want me to host it because uh, nobody won't come, <laughs> meaning Portia, Tanya, and Marlo, right, and she said, girl, I ain't, I ain't staying my dad as long as Cynthia's good with it, please, you know, do it, I'm like, Okay, Dan, if you want to be used in that situation, go ahead, do you, girl. But she says she got an event planner to help you out. But we'll see how that turns out. But Candy goes on to get her little sly comments about Cynthia and her previous marriage to Peter, saying, okay, she was broke when she was trying to get married to Peter. So she was going through brokenness. Now she got a good man. She got some coin by herself. Now she's trying to be stressless. <laughs> I'm like, okay, three shades between your shading and your your shading remarks, Candy, and then your shading, Kenya. Ooh, I wonder what they do when they be playing playback when it's time for reunion time. 
to see how her two best buddies is talking about her behind her back. Okay, but we're here for the messiness, so it just continues on, okay? Like they say, and the beat goes on. Okay, and then Kenya goes in to talk about Portia and not wearing a mask and trying to bring down Portia's little, uh, what do you call it? Question where she was holding up Black Lives Matter. Kenya was trying to poke holes into that whole scene of uh, Portia being like her grandfather, Jose Williams, out there uh, choosing to fight the good fight on Black Lives Matter and justice and equality. And he was like, uh uh, I don't think that was true. <laughs> I think she just used it for a storyline. And Kenya was like, you know, sometimes you just need to keep to yourself. And I was there for Andy when she was breaking down Kenya, okay? Then they go on and. Uh, Kenya talks about Latoya or uh, Candace friend named Latoya and what they uh, she came out of her house one day and they were having drinks and they were talking somewhat bisexualness, talking about being naked and, and Kenya was all for it and Candace said, I don't have to bring my bedroom candy toys around there for uh, you and uh, Latoya do us, Kenya. And Kenya just, you know, just trying to call herself laugh it off or whatnot but i said i know Kenya ain't finna try to have no storyline with her trying to be bisexual because that's just not gonna work <laughs> you know what i'm saying everybody's gonna see through it but kenya makes for great television she's gonna play her role if she can tempt people to think she's gonna go that way or be in the lady pool here and then be in the man pool there then hey whatever close your boat hey then we go back to drew's door her mom and her husband uh, it just seems like a whole different another scenario with Todd and Ken and Mama Joyce. I don't want to see it. I'm not here for it. Don't bring your mamas into it. Don't bring the children into it. Because it just, to me, with just me seeing this one episode on this new season, the man got some issues. And you can't raise a man, okay? He has the issues with his mama. Because if he going to sit there and confess that he abandoned his mama and went and stayed with his daddy because his mama didn't appreciate him, and then his mama ended up losing her house and all that. And that, that was just a hot mess. I, I didn't want to go into it because I'm like, if, if you leave your mama, you're going to leave your wife. So it's better her get rid of you than you get rid of her. That's just how I feel about the situation until he showed me something different. Okay. Um, then we got Lauren. She calling Candy, talking about she want to have a surprise party for Portia. And she want to invite the whole gang. And can that whole gang come? Minus Kenya. At first, she said she didn't have a problem with it. Then she rescinded her offer, saying, yes, yeah, she got a problem with it. Did that in the third. And it, it just it just fell apart at the end of the scene. Uh, because at the, towards the end, we had, um, what do you call it? Or uh, Kenya getting ready for the show or getting ready for the little, um, the little out out outing they were going to have over at Portia's house. When Tanya ever finally brought her home, and oh, just a hot mess. And then King just came out of uh, formation. <laughs> she started acting like a fool, like we knew and little Kenya to be. Okay, she was sunshine and roses at the first part of the episode. Then she came out like the mad hatter. Okay, Jekyll and Hyde on our behinds. And I'm like, okay, I can give Kenya a, a, a pass for this one because she was decently trying to do the right thing and put, you know, all old spoils behind them. But then at the end, uh, Lauren, Portia's sister, on call and say, uh, Kenya can't come because this is something for Portia. We're trying to, you know, uh, bring awareness to Portia and all the things she did this past summer with Black Lives Matter, da 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 For one, I don't even know why they put it on TV because, yes, Portia was out there, you know, being a, um, what do you call it, a, a recruiter for advocacy for the black race and all uh, the issues we faced as a culture and race and but i'm like you know do we really have to see it on tv what's a whole storyline this season gonna be about black lives matter i'm like girl okay what about racism what about discrimination not just black lives matter you know it's a whole it's a whole gamut of stuff but i'm like could we could we have had something else than throwing a party for Forrester? i mean we don't know party for jose williams her grandfather we ain't throwing no party for uh Marla king Malcolm X, none of that. So I don't know where this where this train wreck it came from. But that's just my uh over uh episode of the show. But that's all I got, people. I was gonna try to keep it on the fifteen minutes. I'm out there. Uh if y'all like this video, please share, like, and and share, share, share. Okay, you can comment, let me know. 
What do you think about me coming back? Should I stay where I was? Or do y'all feel happy about me coming back, giving me giving y'all reviews here and there? I want to know. Put them down in the comments. Other than that, I will see y'all next video. And you never know what that's going to be because I don't know myself. All right. Peace. Bye.